Will this be the day that they can say we almost captured Jack Sparrow? It will surely be the day where I will be shot down by just wearing a pair of underpants. I can tell you that much. And it might be the day where I get a cell toss and I don't even know about it. Actually, I just avoided it. And there we go. These things keep happening to me. I keep asking for them. I just keep asking for them. I didn't have to go outside all naked. Actually, I, I, I had to do it because I left my Prisoner of War outfit in that tunnel. But, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We're here to have fun. We're here to watch me fail miserably more and more in the most worst ways ever. This is the Escapists at San Pancho. My name is Sparrow Journey. Let's have fun. Let's see me raging once again. I'm not even, you know, I'm not even gonna keep saying this might be the day. Because I am pretty sure that if I keep saying that, the unlucky strikes start again. Let's go to, to the breakfast area. Let's keep a low profile this day. Because my plan is tonight to dig up into m into my hole and check exactly what we need to do after digging up. Now, I am pretty sure that some people told me that you have a double layered wall. So you have two ways of doing it. You either dig under the wall, but I might not want to do that because there might be, you know, one of those impassable walls underground or ship down the wall and that would be, I guess, the safest approach. But for that, I need to improve my pickaxe. I absolutely need to do that. I am not sure if I have there enough rolls of duct tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna complete my job quota. You know what? I don't need to complete my job quota. I don't need any more money. Well, that's what I've said last time. And then I needed more and more money. And now I'm getting it by crafting other pants. The most disgraceful way of doing it. There's a file in there, but again, I don't think I'm gonna need it. I already have all the tools that I'm gonna need. Hopefully. Let's put all this stuff back into, into my desk. Supposedly I already had the cell toss, if anything goes according to normal, which doesn't happen too often in my gameplays. You probably already know that. I am pretty sure I haven't checked those two last desks. Uh, let's bring the flashlight down here. So let's do that as well. Who knows? I might find a trowel. Even though what I'm really looking for here right now is a roll of duct tape. So let's pick up a sheet rope. Let's go over there. You know, I think it is the safest time to go there. It's the period where you will not have to be anywhere for the longest time is now when you complete your job quota. I'm not actually sure of that. Maybe there is another time where it's more safe. But hey, I want to go there and I want to check out exactly if I need any timber, if I need any rolls of duct tape. I am pretty sure I have a roll of, of the, the blah, 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 roll of duct tape down there. But I'm not sure. My memory is failing me. Because I have a memory. Not from a kangaroo anymore, but worse than that. A crab memory. They have bad memory. I don't even know. Here's a roll of duct tape. There we go. So, if I need to improve my pickaxe, I can. I think I already can dig up. But, for the sake of not taking any chances, I'm going to dig some more. This last, very last tile. I'm going to need this brace. There we go. So, I'm gonna dig up exactly on this tile. And this sound, man, I still don't know what is this sound. I think it's the Jeep. But according to some people, I think I will be fine as long as I, as I stick to the outer wall. I hope you guys are not trolling me because... Of all things... I ex don't exactly need any trolls. The game trolls me enough already. So, my pickaxe is at 30%. I should bring timber with me so that I can improve it when it is destroyed, when I'm up there shipping down the wall. Now, I remember some people told me 
that the double layer wall becomes just one layer at the bottom, at the south part of the prison. I might want to investigate that, and I'm going to do that tonight. The game is saved. I have nothing to lose other than time. I need timber. So I need to go to that secret room again and get some timber from there. Hopefully, you know, I might find some meanwhile inside the prison, but you never know. Uh, you know, th the last chances I have against that metal box, the better. Because I don't want to have to fight that one. Oh my god, am I using... Oh my god. <laughs> I, I thought I had the guard outfit on because I was seeing this guy and I was behind him. I, I was like, hey, don't you guys buzz me? That guy's confused. Psycho the Great is confused. Let's get all this stuff into my desk again so that I don't lose it by a random guy that decides to punch my teeth. I don't need to drop the flashlight. And let's give Strugaska this dirt. Why do I keep giving Strugaska this, this stuff? It always is Strugaska. Do you like it, Strugaska? You're welcome. So let me try and think. I need timber. Let's see if I can have a lucky strike. Like often I have. Do I? Sometimes. I, I cannot complain. I have been, you know, trying to measure lucky and my unlucky times here in the Skippers. And considering all my seasons, I guess it's pretty fair, pretty decent. Things just don't work the way they should sometimes. And that's what basically distracts me most of times. And that's why this season is so huge. Anyway, this might be the night. Don't want to make any promises, but this might be the night where something amazing happens. I'm not gonna keep my hopes up. I am not gonna give my mother hopes up. I'm not even gonna call her to be out there waiting for me so that we can escape from Mexico. Because surely we cannot stay in Mexico. We gotta go somewhere else or they will discover us immediately. I am a bald guy. They can find me pretty fast. You know, when you watch a bald guy into a distance with a full body tattooed like Michael Schofield has, as far as I'm concerned. I've seen some pictures of him naked. No, not that naked, just the torso, and I've seen that he is, in fact, all tattooed. So, let's think this over. I am gonna bring my bed dummy to my bed, I'm gonna bring my guard outfit, I'm gonna bring my timber, so that I can improve the pickaxe. I might need some food. I might need some food. You know, or chocolates. You know, chocolates are food, but they're kind of candy, so I don't consider them exactly food. Or, I would just starve, because the more chocolates I eat, the fat I become, but I just feel weak. Chocolate makes you weak, children. Don't forget about that. The only problem will be the jeep. And I heard that the stinger trip strip is not working stinger trip the stinger is taking a trip to another country either way i don't think the stinger strip is working but uh either way because i already have it craft i'm gonna bring it anyway uh, some people told me that as long as i keep to the wall the jeep won't be a problem what else do i need yeah i'm getting full so bringing a useless stinger strip is probably not a good idea man so you know what? I'm gonna just gonna bring it behind. Bring it behind. Leave it behind. I'm gonna bring the bed dummy. So now I just have to wait. And jogging. Besides my desk. Because I'm on a diet, if you remember correctly. Thank you, Granny Cookies. I don't think I'm gonna need that. But either way, I'm gonna take it. No, it's a souvenir that I will take with me. And I will always remember Granny Cookies as the guy from the duct tape. Granny Cookies, Esparo, Dunlop, you guys have been amazing. I just realized that I'm saying goodbyes. What? Why am I doing that? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You guys know it. It's not gonna happen. Will I complete my job, Gora? What for? Okay. One last time. Again, here I go with a uh, goodbyes thingy. It's gonna be not gonna happen, Sparrow. It's not gonna happen. Don't even think about it. Don't even think because the more you bring your hopes up, the more you will be disappointed after. That is true for the escapists 
and girls. Okay, take that from me, the escapist episode. I am Dr. Love right now, where I give you some advice on girls. The more you keep your hopes up, the more you will be disappointed later on. So keep your expectations low, you know, because you never know. You might be, you know, parked in the friend zone, and you will be always there for times to come until your true love shows up. I had this poetic strike in me. More like this philosopher. What do you have for me, Ellis of HD? A magazine. Nope, I will not use a magazine to escape. Maybe I would. If I get on the bus, I need something to read. Meanwhile. Why do I keep getting my hopes up? Stop it, Sparrow. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Just face it. It's not gonna happen. I don't even know if there's guards patrolling the place. If I'm gonna have to be careful. Um, shipping down and stopping and shipping down some more and stopping and whatnot. What I could use is timber, or I will have to go to that secret room again. And I don't like that idea. I, oh, I have timber here. Wait, I got timber here. You're making your task harder than it seems, Sparrow. You just have to dig up, ship the wall down, and get out of here. And meet your Mama Zita that is waiting beneath that door. Beneath? Yes, because we have a cave in our home. And my mom lives in a cave. Dunlop and Liam LeFou, my brothers. You know, we might have the same father, but we probably don't have the same mother. As we don't get along much. We are always fighting. I could even leave the flashlight behind. I'm not gonna need that anymore, am I? And it's one slot that I can free up for something else that I need to bring. So I'm gonna start packing up. If you know- where, where are you going? Get out of here. This is my cell! Not anymore. Not soon enough. So let's pick up the guard outfit. The sheet rope. You know, would be- Be amazing. If I go to the roll call and if someone beats my ass. You know what? <laughs> I have learned from my mistakes. No, not gonna take any chances. Let's check who's gonna have a cell toss. And I'm gonna go up again, and finally, pack up, pick the stuff that I'm gonna need, and get out of here. There's two people missing. It's not me. Not yet. You're gonna miss me tomorrow. Here we go! Okay, let's put the bed dummy over here. I already have the sheet rope. I'm gonna take this roll of duct tape with me, even though I don't think I'm gonna use it. To escape, at least, if I need it later on, at least it will stay there. But the thing is, I am gonna dig up, and I'm gonna cover that hole with a dirt. So, I won't be able to dig down again. At least, I won't know where is my hole, unless I leave something behind. Hey! That is a good plan. Let's bring the nails, okay? I'm gonna bring the nails with me, and I'm gonna drop the nails at the place where I dig up and then put the dirt, so that I know where my hole is, if I need to dig down again. Not taking any chances at all. I tell you. I am not gonna lose this day. Or am I? Maybe I will. But who cares? Because the game is saved. I don't care. Maybe Michael Schofield cares because he's actually a character that cares in the game. Please camera look to the other side. I'm gonna do something dirty. Thank you. There we go. Done. And lights out. I'm gonna wait a couple seconds because we have been all the night. I am saying goodbye to my posters, my grappling hooks and whatnot. You know what? Screw the sheets of rope. Screw the sheets of rope. I have been not using this length of rope for so long. I'm gonna bring it. I'm a professional now. I'm gonna use all that I can to... You know, increase my chances. There we go. I don't have the flashlight, which uh, makes it harder to see. You hear this noise? I think I need to wait for that noise to finish before digging up. Because that means the jeep is passing by. I'm gonna dri drip. I'm gonna drop the Prisoner of War outfit here. I'm gonna bring the lightweight pickaxe, which is at 30%. I am not gonna upgrade it yet. Just yet. Also, because I don't need to bring anything else, I think. Yeah, I am safe, and there we go. I just have to wait for the jeep now to pass by. 
And if I needed something else, then I would be in trouble. But because I can just bring the roll of duct tape and the timber, I'm not going to risk it. And I'm going to, you know, you never know. I don't know if I'm going to need to bring two walls down or just one. Here we go. Dig up. Seriously. That was the worst plan ever. Obviously, I need room for the freaking dirt. Okay, I'm leaving the length of rope behind and bring the nails so that I can drop them over here. There we go. Let's drop the dirt over there. Now, there is a little mark over there, but I'm not sure if it stays there when I get away. So, we are outside. It feels refreshing. There's a double wall here, but according to some people, there's just a single wall down to the south. Oh my god, this prison is huge! There's no snipers. They went for a night-night with a dirty woman. I would love to explore a little bit more of the prison, you know, go all around. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it for the sake of science. It's still 2 a.m. I should be fine. If I get any closer, you know, inside the prison, the mines will just explode. You know, the jeep should be around, man. The jeep should be around. I don't know what happens if it actually gets to me. But apparently the prison... <laughs> I'm just doing a running, guys. I'm jogging this night. I feel energized. And I feel like running a lot. I need to be careful with that jeep, apparently. It goes around and around and around and around. Those guys have infinite gasoline. And I guess that's what they do for life. So let's bring this wall down. Oh my god. It, it, is this it, man? Is this it? Oh my god. I'm gonna wait. There's more than one jeep? There's no way the jeep went all around already. Unless it's a super speedy jeep. You know, I gotta go down and run as fast as possible before the jeep passes by again. <gasps> oh god! I forgot. I forgot. I call this on myself. I just I just call this on myself every freaking time. What are you doing? Spare your mother is waiting for you. I should just load back the game, man, and save all of this. You know, just save my time. Can I put the dirt over there? There you go. Man, I I, I, I can't believe this. I'm exactly at the same point. Without taking anything in or out, I've did exactly the same that I've did in the last playthrough. Just different times, but the same thing to what matters to the game. There we go. Let's pay full attention. I am full focused. On my pickaxe. I hope 20 fatigue is low enough to bring down that wall. Considering my last attempt, I think we're safe to do so. Let's see. 30%. Now I'm gonna be discovered by the Jeep. That's gonna be what's gonna caught me now. S still 20%. Let's pay full attention to it. It's 5% each click. You know what? Screw it. I'm not even gonna wait any longer because we are so close. The Jeep passed through. Now it's the moment. Might be the moment when I'm running to freedom while the Jeep will gonna get me. Yes! See! Si! See, si, cabron! Amesita! Donde estas? 31 days taken. 38% guard heat. 545 minutes played time. Holy bejesus. Overall score, 300. Pfft. Who cares about score? If having fun and being original and screwing up would be, you know, what matters, I would be over 9,000. I am mad at this prison. I am mad at San Pancho and Michael Schofield. Michael Schofield is gonna have a place with too much pain into my heart. I'm gonna rip off my heart like Davy Jones. 
just because of Michael Schofield and the Mexican cactus. I am the Sparrow's Journey, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you on the next time. Please subscribe, comment, and like, not necessarily in that order. And I'll see you on the next prison layout. Who's gonna be there? What prison layout will that be? Because there's two new ones. We're gonna leave that for the next episode. Bye bye everyone, and thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for watching everyone. If you are looking for more, feel free to check these suggestions. As a reminder, if you're looking into buying games, consider using my G2A ref link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one. And remember, stay above the waters.